Hi, my name is Katie Brosden. I'm a registered nurse here in Austin, Texas, and today I'm going to tell you about some of the causes of fistulas. These can be caused by a variety of things. A fistula is an abnormal tunneling or channel between organs through the tissue, and so you see these in a variety of ways. Some of the causes are by disease. So you have some sort of a disease going on in the stomach um, that's creating this from this occurring. You might also have cancer and are getting therapy with uh, chemo. And this is weakening the walls in some parts depending upon where chemotherapy or, or radiation is, is being uh, directed and it can cause the tunneling effect of a fistula. Trauma can induce this, so I've seen it uh, with patients who have had lacerations in the camp setting and between two different puncture wounds, they've actually had a tunneling effect. Uh, can happen with cases of a traumatic rape, which actually creates um, a, a thinning of the wall or damage to the wall in the vagina, which allows for a fistula to develop between the rectum and the vagina. There's also congenital fistulas that occur. This Oftentimes you'll see this with cleft palate or um, conditions dealing with the ear and the eardrum. In other instances, fistulas are actually created by a physician or a surgeon. And, and a good example and a common example of this is an AV fistula, which is a connection of the artery and the vein, and it's used to help uh, treat kidney failure through dialysis. So those are some of the causes of fistulas.